July 23rd and 24th, Thursday and Friday, the sun is in Leo and the moon is one sign away in Virgo. So first of all, that combination of Leo-Virgo has a very open heart. It's like they're the fun machine. Leo is so much about joy and so much about radiance and really creating a lifestyle that people are alive. They can't stand dull. And then Virgo goes, I'll help you with that. So it's a practical, energized personality type. So during Thursday and Friday, when the moon goes into Virgo, you're going to feel yourself wanting to make your list and get organized. But there's a T-square. So we have that moon in Virgo right opposite Neptune, and we have it squaring Venus and Gemini. So here's moon in Virgo, Neptune's in Pisces, Venus is in Gemini. That tells us immediately it's a mutable T-square. Two planets opposite, the third planet 90 degrees, and it makes for a little bit of ants in your pants. People don't know that Virgo has nervousness. The sixth house personality, the Virgo personality, the mercurial personality, they have a lot of energy running through their body. Then Pisces makes it a little bit more nervous because they're so sensitive and they're feeling a little awkward. Then you bring it down to Venus and Gemini, and now we're talking about, oh, I have so many ideas, I can't remember what I was just saying. And then the Virgo goes, what do you mean? To the moon and Virgo, you can't figure it out. And Pisces goes, that was kind of funny. What did you say? And then Gemini goes, I don't remember. So you could feel scattered. The good news is it releases in Sagittarius. So Thursday and Friday, get outside. Let the scattered energy find release. The best thing you can do is exercise in a moment like this. And Leo loves to be in the fun factor. And then that Virgo will give you a little list of where you should go and get you out the map and make sure you take care of yourself and make sure your clothes are clean. <laughs> So during these few days, Thursday and Friday, with the combination of fire and earth and then that mutable energy, if you are a mutable sign, you might feel tense. That's how the moon works. And when you start paying attention to it, you can organize by not criticizing yourself, moon and Virgo. Don't be mad. If you're feeling like you're not on top of things or you haven't done enough, you say to yourself, oh, the moon's in Virgo. It's trying to criticize me. But I watched Deborah Silverman on that Astrology Answers and I'm not going to criticize myself. Astrology answers wanted me to tell you that.